Now to create an alert, simply right click on anywhere on your dashboard, it can be one of these chart objects, and from the menu select alerts, and then you can choose to edit any existing alerts or click create new alert. Hey guys, welcome to this video where I introduce you to our new intelligent data alerts feature now available in ClickSense SaaS Business. So I wanted to give you a brief demonstration of how this works. Please note there are tutorials within Click Help, as well as helpful how-to videos on the Click Help YouTube channel. So let's get back to this sample app. So this app is self-contained where after I reload it, it increments a value and it'll kick off an alert for me. So we're just gonna do everything within this app. So let me go into analysis mode and you can see I have various charts and KPIs on the screen. If I wanna create an alert, I can right click anywhere on the screen. Usually it's when hovering over a chart object. And when you do that, you have the alert menu. Now, if you right click on a specific object, if it has a measure or value, it'll pick up that value, but you don't necessarily have to right click on a particular chart object to use that measure from that chart. So I'm just gonna right click here, select alerts, and if you have any alerts created already, you can select the name of the alert and it'll allow you to edit an existing alert. But in this case here, we're gonna create a new alert. Okay, the first thing we do is we just give it a title and I'm gonna call this one sales alert, how to, give it a description and you can click add measure. Now it'll pick up the measures from the chart that you right clicked on, or you can just select any of the measures that are part of the master items. In this case here, I'm just gonna choose sales. Now, if you wanted to reduce this down to a specific filtered selection, you could show it by a particular dimension, as well as choose particular values from fields, but we're not gonna do that in this case here. And you can see it runs a data preview, so we're at 1.9 million. I click next, select our measure that's been chosen in the first step, in this case, sales. Operator. In this case, greater than value. In this case here, we're just gonna say 2 million. If we wanted to add a condition or group the condition, we can do so, but I'm not going to add another condition. And you can see here, the preview alert is empty, meaning it has not met that specific criteria just yet. Click next. Then you can choose when to evaluate that alert. Basically, anytime the data is reloaded, it'll evaluate and kick off the alert if necessary. In this case here, you also have the ability to select the fixed time schedule. We're just gonna choose when data is refreshed. Snooze notification, so you could choose to have additional alerts. For example, if you have multiple reloads throughout the day and you only wanna be alerted that one time, you can say snooze notification for the rest of the hour, rest of the day, etc. In this case, we're just gonna leave it as off and then share with others. If there are other individuals that are added as members to the space, you can also alert those individuals as well. And then all we do is hit create. Now, before we kick off the alert, I wanna go into our management console and just show you under the configuration and settings. In this case here, I have an email SMTP server set up, so it could alert me via email. And then also within the profile settings, under notifications, you can see that we have a number of different delivery mechanisms. If I scroll down, you can see under alerts, and we have an alert is triggered. In this case, web, push to mobile, email, and digest. Basically, digest is a summarized email of all the notifications that you could receive throughout the day. You can look at my last SAS in 60 video to learn more about that. If you have the ClickSense mobile app installed, and you have this space and app added part of your mobile collection, you will also get notified on your mobile device. Okay, so what we'll do now is reload this app. I'll just do it from edit mode. And upon reloading, we'll get the notification that the app was reloaded successfully. And then we should also see our KPI increase to over 2 million, and then the alert should be triggered as well. And there we go. So we got that notification here and that's that the sales example alert was reloaded successfully. And now we can see the alert sales alert how to triggered and over 2 million. And then what you can do here is mark it as read, delete the notification or click it, and it'll show you more detail about this notification. And there's the criteria, and then you can click view history or view an app if necessary. 
And then also you can see we have an email, alert sales alert how to triggered, and there's our sale dollar amount. Clicking the link will bring you directly into the app as well. Now, if I wanted to edit the alert, I can right click anywhere, select alerts, and then select the particular alert, and then go through the changes. For example, refining my data, adding more measures or group conditions. Also, if you go into your profile menu and select alerts, you can see all the alerts listed here under management. And then for example, here you can select notification preferences, edit alert and app, evaluate now, look at the data and conditions, history, recipients, etc. Okay, so that's all I have for you guys. Hopefully you found this helpful. Tell me what you think in the comments below. For more videos such as these, make sure to like and subscribe. And don't forget to join the conversation with myself and others in the Click community. Take care.